fans, and welcome to the finals. Congratulations on your placement here in the finals at the Drum Corps International World Championships in Indianapolis, Indiana, Saturday, August 10th, 2013. This is Jeff Prospery coming to you from West Point, New York, where I perform with the West Point Band at the United States Military Academy as the second leader of the Hellcats. This evening I'll be evaluating you guys on music percussion. I'm going to start out on the field. I understand there's a pre-show, so I will not judge this segment. Yeah, well done. 
down in the Mannheim Day Crotendo, removing players from the ensemble to get a softer, thinner texture. Beautiful metric change up there. Tiffany's right on it, Tiffany, well done. Beautiful pushing of the phrase on the tremolo. Yes. That yearning for resolution occurred and then you resolved it. of that role, timpani. Yeah, these extended elbow leg shifts to the outside, left hand, accidental, into these independent rolls with the transfer to the right hand. So difficult and professional and smooth and fluid. Thank you, Tiffany, the way you built that up and then the resolution and the concert bass. Beautiful diminuendo descending line. Wow, the first of harmonic energy on those interlocking single alternating strokes. This is crazy. This is, you, you trick me because it's so open and fluid and then you have a random rush of harmonic energy and now this weighted double vertical, boom, 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 boom. You're almost playing like Tupinist on the marimba with your large muscle groupings. I'm getting some goosebumps here. This is awesome. Yeah, motivated, Tiffany. Motivated. Wonderful flaming of the dramatic crashes. Good attention to painting on the crescendo from the vibraphonist on the China China Boys cymbal. Yeah, it's so big. It's so big. Cymbals, three bass drums. Germanic crashes, just pacing, pacing is so crucial, and you did it. Nice job. Around the beat. 
phrasing idiomatically to the written score, lyrical and phrasing. Yeah, tenors, way to hold on. Then with the ghost of left hand, no less. on the field in my adjudication years, um, which are, I believe, 13. Okay, so congratulations for not being afraid to put the lever down and open up the throttle and see what this baby's got. Because you did it, you opened it up. And what she had under the hood was impressive because, um, man, got some horsepower there. Got the strongest dynamic roll so high over your head. And then you turn around after a unison moment and play segmental, ensemble, textural, wooden press, tickety-tickety stuff, which is delicate. Requires a whole different mentality and muscle groupings. And you did it. You pulled it off. Minor scratches here and there is noted on the recording, but my goodness, the physical demand and the way you change directions at phrase points and never let some of that stuff fly was super impressive. I um, really enjoyed it. Some of the harmonic motion things in the pit, which I don't think I'd heard before until tonight, so you, um, you're able to play subtle harmonic energy and then have these short little bursts of interlocking patterns and go in and out of keyboard techniques and it creates motion to the score, harmonic motion and rhythmic intrigue. So you made those um, pit moments special. And um, I, I could go on and on and talk about how great that bass drum section was. And tenor's wonderful job. Just um, good ears, good understanding of the simultaneous responsibilities of physical, environmental, and musical demands coming together for a high, high level of achievement and content. Thank you. 